Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Sax Academy and today's lesson we've got three versions of the jazz standard T for two for beginners, intermediates and advanced level players. So don't forget to head over to onlinesaxacademy.com where you can get your free PDF of the beginner version and over in the premium library, premium members will have access to the intermediate version and the advanced version along with the backing tracks and performance tracks. Along with this, premium members have unlimited access to everything else that's in the premium library, as well as all the lessons on the courses page, which can't be found on YouTube. So for the beginner version, we're going once through the melody. I've added in a little bit of variation decoration here and there, but it sticks pretty close to the original melody. Now this song has a famous, quite unusual key change in it. It starts in concert A flat major, and then it quickly changes into C major before returning back again to A flat major. Now A flat major and C major aren't that closely related, so you can really hear when it shifts from one to the other and back again. So for alto saxophones, you're going to start in the key of F major, it shifts to A major before coming back to F major. And for tenor saxes, you're starting in B flat major before shifting to D major and then back again. So of course I'd recommend learning those major scales in those keys and be able to run up and down those scales smoothly and that's going to help prepare your fingers for when you learn the song. Now don't forget that in the premium library you've got the backing track versions as well where there's no saxophone so you can try playing these songs all by yourself and that will allow you to add in your own slight variations and decorations to the melody as well. Alright so here's that beginner version. Now for the intermediate version, we've got once through the melody, but then there's an example improvised solo before returning to the melody at the end. Now you can approach the solo in a number of ways. You can of course take a more horizontal approach where you're playing more in the overall key. And for that, I'd recommend sticking to the major pentatonics of those keys. And then of course, if you'd like to dig into more of outlining the chord changes, I'd recommend learning the chord tones for this song. Now over on the courses page, onlinesaxacademy.com, in the Practical Music Theory course, I show you how you can create lines using what are called guide tones. And that can help guide your improvisation through these chord changes. And it can be nice to mix up using just a more horizontal approach where you're thinking in the overall key and not worried about delving into the individual chord changes and mixing that up with playing through those chord changes and really hitting the key notes of those chords. And this will really help your understanding of the example solo as well. So you'll be able to more easily take out ideas and apply them in your own solos. All right, so here's the intermediate version.
All right, so now it's time for the advanced version. It's going up again in speed. We've got a similar structure to the intermediate version where we have the melody, a solo, and then coming back to a bit of the melody at the end. And of course, any ideas you like in this example solo, you can take those and start to apply those into your own solos as well. All right, so here's the advanced version. <laughs> All right, so don't forget to head over to onlinesaxacademy.com to get your free PDF of the beginner version. And also don't forget to check out the members section where you can see everything we have on offer there. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons. And I'll see you guys next week.